Hey, you want in on a little secret? No, no, it's not Victoria's secret, so calm down. Actually, Victoria really doesn't even have a secret. <laughs> have you ever seen the merchandise in that store? It's obvious to me that the secret is pretty much revealed. Here's the secret. Happiness is a choice. As I always say, making happiness is a choice is what life is all about, and it's the best way to stay motivated and inspired throughout the day. And I know what some of you are thinking right now. Okay, Steve, if happiness is a choice, then why are so many people feeling crappy instead of happy? Huh? Why are so many people going through life feeling unfulfilled? Well, the answer is that most people either don't believe that happiness is a choice or they can't understand its meaning. Happiness isn't one choice, like deciding which presidential candidate will make you less miserable. Try thinking of happiness as a lifetime of small moment-to-moment -moment choices. On, on any given day, there are a number of reasons or excuses that I can use to justify being unhappy. I mean, it could be work-related, time constraints, someone else's bad mood, health issues, financial issues, family issues. And by the way, if you knew my family, you would definitely understand. The key, however, is that I know that I'm responsible for my state of mind. I'm totally aware of what happens to me when I begin to lose control. Allowing these outside forces or circumstances to determine my happiness can quickly send me into a downward spiral. And the same goes for you. Whatever it is that has the potential to keep you from enjoying the day and the success that you desire, understand that it's not the situation in and of itself that's causing you to be unhappy or to feel unsuccessful. It's really the thoughts that you have about the situation. It's what you choose to focus on over a period of time that fuels your emotions and defines your reality. Now, I, I gotta tell you, I find it absolutely amazing that the same incident can be experienced in different ways by different people. I mean, there are those who view life's little mishaps as a catastrophe, like it's the end of the world, while others find the humor in it and they laugh it off. I mean, that's not to say that you're wrong to get upset when your car doesn't start, you're gonna be late for work. I get that, that's natural. But you're doing yourself a grave disservice if you allow the bad mood to continue. If you're not vigilant, one bad mood can avalanche out of control and ruin what could otherwise be an enjoyable and productive day. My point is this, rather than dwell on negativity, why not choose to shift your focus on what's working in your life rather than fixating what isn't working? Why not bless the things that life has given you rather than cursing what life is currently throwing at you? And use your time and energy finding solutions to your problems rather than wallowing in them. If you do, you're gonna be experiencing a happier, healthier reality for yourself. Either way, the outcome is based on choices. And that's the word, according to Bob.